Moo! Welcome everybody to Fable 2 Part 64 and this will be the finale of Fable 2. I want to thank everybody who's supported me the entire way and I decided to choose this finale with a nice, I don't know, what's the most expensive? A yellow fairy. Let's I recommend purchasing this. Alright, let's is this is that is that the most expensive uh, alcoholic beverage here? Cause I would like to purchase that then. We will purchase a yellow fairy and we're gonna drink it. We're gonna get a little wasted. <laughs> we're gonna party. Let's, we can drink it outside. Let's party down, okay? Because this is the finale. So let's items. Is it a food or is it a potion? That's the thing. <laughs> we have rancid apples. Horrible apples, cheese, tofu. Oh boy, we got lots of food in here. Oh, what was that? Apple juice? No, we want something a bit more powerful than that. We got any port in a storm. Holy shit. The only problem is it's going to ruin my purity. So I still want my halo. I don't want to be too bad. I just want to have a nice drink. And here it is. Oh, we actually had a ball of yellow fairy already. But we will select it, and we will drink it down. Oh, yeah, so we get some, we actually get some bonus out of that. But if you drink too much, it will lower your purity, and I want to end the game as I intended. A good man. So one beverage, you know, isn't that bad. You know, it's all about moderation. It's all about moderation. This will be the end. This is the finale. This is the final quest. And I don't even know how much of a quest it is from what I've heard. But we'll see. That's quite remarkable. Another successful exorcism. That skull will make a perfect paperweight. Lovely stuff. Well, my source has finally come through. I have in my hands the item that offers visions of the future. And it's... Well, not quite what I was expecting. I was hoping for a nice crystal ball or some pretty cards. Even a bucket of entrails would have been better than this. Here, you can have it. I'll never be able to sell it to anyone else. And to tell you the truth, it gives me the willies. And not the good kind. The Spire Statue. Oh boy. And this will give me a... It's a statue of the spire. It's a remarkable replica model of the spire. When you hold it, you feel the same unnatural hum that emanated from the real spire's walls. Best of luck with that. And don't let anyone know I let you have it for free. You can just imagine what that would do to my reputation. <laughs> hey, 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 miss. He was giving free. He gave me some for free. Yeah, free. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go stand over here like I have with the other ones, just because I like some distance. And we will use the spire statue. And apparently, we will see the future. <laughs> this could be interesting. Um, miscellaneous, I guess. There's a snow globe. Oh, oh there, there we go. Spire statue. What will happen? It's gonna save my content, like always. Oh my god, we're on our way to the tattered spire, it says. It's sending us back to the spire. Is it good? Is this bad? Such a holy light. T Teresa? Doggy? There's no doggy here? No doggy. This is the light. This is where the game ended, though. Walk towards her carefully. I have no weapons. Here you are again. 
You knew you'd return here one day, did you not? I know what your question is. Yes, the Spire had a gift for me too. The future has always whispered to me, and I have followed its sound blindly. But now I can see all possible futures. There are many threads, too many to count. Yet there are moments when they all converge. Events that cannot be avoided. Futures which must be fulfilled. It is time I showed you one such future. Take my hand. One last time. Take my hand and we will see the future. Where are we going? It is many years from now. A king feels age weighing him down and the responsibility of an entire kingdom. Love my robe. It's a nice robe. Do I still have a chair? <laughs> Where's my chair? I'm not a king unless I have a chair. I can't go backwards apparently. I can only walk forwards. Oh. Hello? These are his men. Loyal soldiers who would die for him. Many already have. On battlefields at home and in faraway lands, they would follow him wherever he leads. These are his people, subjects who worship him, who trust him to guide them, protect them, and govern them. My chair. And this is his throne, Albion's seat of power, where he has made countless decisions, delivered justice, and led a nation. Yet none of this is of the least importance. This is the real future. His child, not yet born, but destined for greatness. A child on whom the fate of Albion will depend one day, as will the fate of Aurora. These things you will understand in time. For now, you must live your life and prepare for what is to come. Take care, little sparrow. And remember, I am always here. Always watching. We get a royal crown, and we unlock the achievement, The Visionary. It irradiates power and presence, and you can almost feel the weight of history in its dense, beautiful metal. We'll put the crown on. We get a royal robe! Oh wow, the royal robe! Yes, we'll, we'll wear that too, because I am royal. And of course the royal trousers, and the royal boots! Oh my! You have seen what lies ahead, but it will be years before you truly understand the significance of your vision. And this was basically done as a lead-in to Fable 3. Yes, everybody, I will be doing the LP Fable 3, but not next. I will be doing it sometime, as this says, in the future. One day in the future I will do Fable 3, and that basically goes into your story there. Um, that I will have a future son, or daughter, it said child, it doesn't really specify there. But, uh... Yeah, and that leads into the story of Fable 3. It's not my current child. She's not destined for greatness. <laughs> She's destined to be solving some kind of a weird puzzle for the rest of her life. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go back and talk with him, see what he has to say. Back from your visit to the future. I trust it was a favorable one, yes? You don't want to go to all that trouble to find out you're croaking it tomorrow. <laughs> I've been doing rather splendidly for myself, all thanks to you. There's no better advertising than people see you obtaining all these rare and miraculous objects. 
My source? Well, I guess you know who she is now. Left one last thing for you. Something only a hero could hope to enjoy. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but have your weapon ready when you use it. Best of luck, old friend. And remember to keep shopping at Murgo's. The Colosseum. So this is the final thing you get here. Um, and basically, you can use it to enter a Colosseum. It's sort of like the Crucible, except for harder, I would say. It's probably harder. And it's not really a quest. It's more just for money and experience and gold and all that kind of stuff. So... That really, there is the end. Um, I don't even know if I should do the Coliseum. Well, we're only 11 minutes in, but I don't think I could finish the Coliseum. It's a really gr grudgingly long battle. It's just wave after wave of enemies, and we've seen that already in the Crucible. So, this really is the end here. Um, maybe we should go end it in my castle, seeing that I have my robes on with my family. We'll, we'll go end the series there but I want to thank everybody you guys have been so great are you kidding me take spot seriously after all this time really okay doggy one last one last dick 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 yeah and we get a forever ring how how quaint that it's forever. But anyways. Huh, did I not buy? Is this house not purchased by me? I do not own the rights to this house. Well that must be changed! I must own everything. I now own you. I own you. Cause I am the king! I am the king of the castle, and I will sit in my chair. My chair, my chair makes me important. My chair makes me feel like a man. When I sit down in my chair, I have great strength and importance and wealth, and I feel like I can do anything when I sit in my chair. So that's where we'll go now, but we can't sit down, because the game won't let us. I wonder where my... My child will probably just come running after me. Oh, there she is. And there's my wife, too, and she's got a gift for me. Alright, fumbling skill potion. Not that I really need that right now, but come with me, wife. I, I do. I do like it a lot, and you're gonna, you're gonna follow me. And I'm pretty sure that my kid will follow me anyways. I'm distressed to find I was wrong about you. Alright. Okay, let's go. Let's go is right. Let's go. Wow. We're gonna go stand by my chair in my castle. Right where I like it. And if my kid doesn't want to come, that's that's her fault. Teresa already told me she wasn't destined for greatness. My future child is. Come on, Ducky. Let's go, Ducky. We're in the castle. <laughs> And the glitched out demon door is still glitched out. Run. 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 To the to the front. To the castle. Here it is. Oh, my chair. My wife. Uh -huh. Being with you makes me so happy. And this LP has oh, made wow. me so happy. Never seen a beard like that before. Mm, it's a king's if beard. You ask me. This is a great time to be alive. It is. There's not even that much disease, considering that we never wash. <laughs> you don't have any trouble lifting heavy things, do you? Wow, you just got a lot to say, don't you, wife? Anyways, thank you everybody for watching this LP. I have been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, goodbye, Moo!